hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this simple kinematic text animation effect in premiere pro okay so the first step is to actually create your text so hit ctrl or command c and type in whatever you want it to say i'm just going to make mine say text animation and then i'm going to change the font to something i like even more next let's resize our text and we can also hit our vertical and horizontal align tool to get it perfectly centered now eventually we are going to have three pieces of text so let's just duplicate it upwards two times by holding alt and dragging it up two times now we are going to be adding an effect called offset so move over to your effects library and search for the offset effect and add this offset effect either to the top or the bottom layer i'm going to add mine to the top layer so select the top text layer over here and move over to the first control panel and move your playhead just a few seconds away from the start of the text layer. I'm going to leave mine at 5 frames. And set a keyframe for the shift to center parameter. So now we have a keyframe here where it's at the center. Now move 10 additional frames forward and move the text upward. So now we are at 15 frames and we are moving the text upward. And this is what it looks like so far. Now right click the last keyframe, select temporal interpolation and ease in to make it more smoother. Now go back to your first library and search for the echo effect and add this echo effect onto your top layer and move over to the first control to adjust the loop. I'll set my echo time to minus 0.06, number of echoes to 6, my starting intensity I'll leave it as 1, decay I'll set it to 0.8, then set the echo operator to minimum. And there you go, you have gotten half of this effect. Now hold ALT and drag this top layer to the bottom layer to delete and replace the bottom layer. Now you only need to change one thing. Go to the offset parameter and move shift to center point down so that it's at the opposite point of the center text layer. But make sure that your playhead is at the second keyframe while you are making this so you do not accidentally create a new keyframe. Or you can click on either of these arrow buttons here to make sure that you are exactly at the required keyframe. Now move this parameter to move the position of the text down and position it to be at the same distance on the opposite side of your middle text. Right now all three layers look the same, so we can create a little bit of separation by checking off the fill and checking on the stroke of the top and the bottom layer. To do this, highlight your top layer here and go to your essential graphics and highlight your text layer. Now go down to the fill layer and uncheck it. Now check your stroke layer instead and if you like you can increase the value of your stroke from 1 to 2. Now repeat this to your bottom layers and you are left with this. This looks really great. Now you can use this effect to incorporate on any of your project by simply dragging your middle text layer to your video layer 5 and move your other text layers to video layers 2 and 3. Now drag in any video with a plain background into video layer 4 and add a new background into video layer 1. Alternatively, you can simply create a new color mate by selecting this new item here, color mate, choose a color and hit OK and drag this into your video layer 1 but I'll just use my plain background instead. Now move back to the effects library and search for the ultra key effect. Now place your ultra key effect onto your plain background video in video layer 2. Now move over to the effects control library and select your color picker and pick out the plain background. And now we have successfully created this cool kinematic text animation effect. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.